Hey, what's up with you guys? This is Erfan here from SmartyIncubator.com and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the breakdown, uh, I'm gonna actually break down the trades that happened during New York session yesterday uh, and it was a beautiful setup. Actually, two setups on two different pairs GBPUSC and NAS100. And also, I want to show you the results of Goldie Incubator on two different accounts with $3,000 each. So, in combined, we have over $6,000 in these accounts and this is the first one that we are up over 143 percent in profit since april 5th all the way to june 1st which is 1528 dollars in profit and this is another three thousand dollar account which is a scale because we deposited more money and the profit is 982 dollars since april 15th all the way to june 1st with a little bit of drawdown as well which is very very minimal so without any further ado let's get into the trades that happened on uh gpoc and that's 100 during new york session so uh this is a very simple one guys uh i'm gonna do a little bit of replay for you to show you exactly what happened during uh new york session but this trade happened a little bit later because if I want to show you exactly when New York session has started, you see that it starts from right here. So this is 8 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, and we have this pattern right here on 5 minute time frame on GBPUSD. So as you know guys, I always you know break it down from 15 minute time frame all the way to 5 minute time frame to find all the high probability supply and demand zones, to find the trend of the market, to see where it's going towards break of structures and all this sort of stuff. So as you know, uh, we don't have any high probability order block uh, on five minute time frame on GBPUSD. So if I move forward, you see that it formed this high probability demand zone from here to here. So you know what, what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna wait for the price to tap into this level. And if, if it gives me a really good confirmation to buy the market, then I execute my order. But if you pay close attention, you see that the trend of the market is kind of towards downtrend so it means that we have multiple break of structures towards downside here here but at the end of the day we have some sort of consolidation as well so i'm just going to wait for this one to see what it happens what happens exactly and as you know it never tapped into my zone so it was super super close and then it showed up so i'm gonna i'm still going to wait but i don't have so much hope because we also have this high probability demand zone here as well. See, from here to here. Now we have two high probability demand zones back to back and it's gonna make it a little bit dangerous because I personally don't wanna trade when we have two high probability order blocks back to back. So I'm just gonna wait to see what happens. As, as you know, this is the first candle that literally tapped into this zone. So I'm going to delete this one because it disrespected the first zone. So this is the second one that actually tapped into uh, this one. So this is the first candle that tapped into my zone. So the, the next thing I can do is to put my buy stop above the previous candle or just wait for the next one to see how it forms. So as you know, this one got respected as well. So I'm going to delete both of them and wait for the next opportunity. So, and it just kept going down break of a structure so the trend of the market is towards downside and another one see that it just kept coming down so if you're super patient then you can wait all the way to uh, like you know 2 p.m and then you can find this setup which was really a sneaky one because you should have literally got it super fast if you didn't want to miss it but otherwise you know you just leave this pair go for the second one uh, and uh or just you know wait for another trading day but it was really bad that we don't we didn't have any uh clear structure uh, of this market trend so you know i'm just going forward to see what's going to happen and as you know uh it's created another high probability demand zone which i don't really count on but what literally happened on gbp usc here was this one here see we have two bearish candles back to back and this is the first candle that actually came out of the box. So this is a high probability demand zone that we have right here and the next candle after that, which is this one, never tapped into this zone. So there's a gap between this uh, candle right here and this zone here. So and the next candle after that, which is this one, 
literally tapped into this zone. So again, in this scenario, I can put my buy stop above the previous candle and I can put my stop loss below the candle and then I can literally take my one to one trade if I want to, which is right here. OK, so this is almost a one to one trade. And then, as you know, uh, it came up. It still didn't trigger my buy entry. This one did and it came down. See, if I wanted to put my stop loss below this candle, I would have got stopped out, right? But see what happened. It literally came up and it literally disrespect this zone as well. So this is the trade that I got and I got a stopped out of. So I got two trades, GBPUSD loss and NAS100 was a winner trade which is this one right here. It was a beautiful trade, but I just wanted to show you guys when you wait for super long, then there's a higher chance of getting stopped out because it's kind of too late uh, in London session. So it's literally 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and I was waiting for super, super long to find an entry and I thought this is a really good one because look at this, high protein demand zone, there is a gap, this one tapped, I put my buy stop here, my stop loss here, and I got it stopped out immediately. And then at the end, it just disrespected this zone and, you know, just started consolidating around this area. So I'm going to delete this one as well. I'm going to go to NAS 100 and show you exactly what happened at 8, at 9.20 in the morning. This is a perfect setup. First of all, it's kind of dangerous right now because, you know, guys, at 9.30 in the morning, New York Stock Exchange market opens and you shouldn't trade 10 minutes before and 10 minutes after that. But I did it anyways, because we had a really clear structure of the trend. And as you know, guys, it broke above this level, this level, and this level. So I know that the trend of the market is towards upside. And then after that, look what happens. We have this one right here, see? We don't have any high probability demand zone around this area or any high probability supply zone. But the only thing that I could find was this high probability demand zone here. See? And then there is a gap as well. This candle never tapped into its zone. And then it. this is the first candle that tapped, which is this one, I think. Let me just zoom in because you should really zoom in to see which one is the first one. So this is not the first one. This is the first one. And then I can put my buy a stop here, my stop loss somewhere around here, and then my TP one to one. So as you know, this is the first candle that triggered my entry. Okay. And then after that, or you can put your stop loss below the zone, which is a perfect setup. And then you can just increase your TP right here. See, you just need to widen your TP at the same time, widen your stop loss. So this is exactly what happens. This is safe. This is a perfect setup. You should always put your stop loss below the zone or above the zone. But if you want to put it below the candle, then there's going to be a higher chance of getting stopped out. Some people do that because they want to increase their risk to reward ratio. But this is exactly what happens if you want to take a one-to-one -one trade and it hits your stop, your TP super, super fast if you put your stop loss below this zone. And you're wondering that how I calculate my risk to reward ratio all the time that gives me an accurate lot size and I don't have to go to any website to see how it works or I don't have to do it manually. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. So I use uh, an EA. It's not an EA because it's not uh, an automated EA. It's just an EA that calculates my risk to reward ratio and it's called Profit Master Incubator. So what it does is that if you go to the setting, you can literally activate the automatic lot and then you can change the percentage of risk relative to equity percentage to whatever amount you want. So let's say that I want to take a trade on gold five minute time frame and I want to risk one and a half percent. So I just set it at one and a half percent and then I activate uh, the automatic lot and then I press OK. So let's say that I want to put my sell stop here and my stop loss here on my TP right here. So I just click sell and then I increase my, uh, this is my TP, the white line is my entry points and then this is my stop loss. So as you can see guys, $20 is one and a half percent of my total balance. And if I keep moving the stop loss, you see that $20 keeps the, uh, like you know st stays the same and the only thing that keeps changing is the lot size right here which is absolutely astonishing guys i don't have to do it manually anymore everything happens completely hands-free and automated i just need to put my stop loss here my entry here and then i click ok and see that it actually 
opens my positions, which is sell stuff. It can also be sell limit or buy stuff or buy limit, whatever that you want. And then it calculates your uh, TP. As you can see, this is exactly what happens, but it literally closed my uh, position. It's actually zero, it's my demo account, but this is exactly how it works. So super easy guys, you know, you can just literally use this tool and you can calculate your risk reward ratio super, super easy. So that's it guys for this video. If you have any question, you know what to do, drop your comment below this video. I personally get back to you. And uh, well, also you can also check out our website, smartincubator.com and we have two live chats options. One of them on WhatsApp and the other one is the live chat on our website. Feel free to reach out to us and ask all your questions. I hope that you can uh, you can find this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. So next time when I upload a video, you'll get notified fast. Thanks for watching this video and see you on the other side.